Hey, what's going on everyone? I am the OP Jellicent and we are back here on Pokemon Showdown today. I'm going to be building an OU team around Normalium Z Belly Drum and Zoomilla right here, which should definitely be a ton of fun. Then we'll be hopping on the ladder, testing out the team of course, making any changes to it that we do feel are necessary, and the final product will be down below in the description for all of you to try out. Now, when we look at uh, Belly Drum and Zoomilla right here, for those of you who don't know, what the Normalium Z Belly Drum does is it basically restores all of your health then cuts it in half and gives you the belly drum boost. So that's definitely a very solid. You can definitely keep a zoom real healthy with that matter. Also just a cool ash grind switch in because it, res uh, it pretty much resists the dual stab, which is nice. Just got to be careful about the protean gunk shot. Now, obviously there are stuff that uh, belly drum zoom real struggles with in OU. Stuff like faster threats like Kirin Black, Cortana are definitely a very annoying for this thing to deal with, as well as some bulkier like water and grass type Pokemon, Toxavex, Tangrowth, Amoongus, those sorts of things. And then of course there's the Psychic Terrain from Type of Lele, so with all that said we definitely need ways to uh, counter all of that, and when I was looking at Pokemon that could uh, definitely help out, I wanted to like be able to well break all the bulk first, and I figured uh, I could just break all the Tangrowth, Toxavex, Amoongus, Quagsire sort of thing, Gastrodon, with a nice choice band hoopa on bound right here, and I definitely think this can do the work because after Z belly drumming, you really don't want to get hazed or take a grass type attack, so I think this thing can definitely help out right here. And we're just gonna go with choice band hoopa right here, and I'm typing in hoopa in the move slot. Let's go with hyperspace fury, which is the signature move. I don't think I need Zen headbutt, maybe I can just go ice punch to help out with helmet lando, but I feel like Zen headbutt could be good against Pex and Amoongus, so let's actually run Zen headbutt. And then uh, we'll go with Fire Punch right here and Gunk Shot, of course, because uh, we do need Gunk Shot to break through Unaware Clef. This can break through both Unaware Mons, a Clef and Quagsire, so, and Pyukamunko, I guess, if you consider that. But let's go right here with uh, this, this uh, Spender Spread right here with uh, the Jolly Nature, and I think this can be a really nice wall breaker for the team. Now, I uh, like this combo right here, nice. Uh, I don't really want to add Dark Spam. I don't really think Ashgren has a place on this team. Especially since we have so much water offense already with the Azumarill, so I think Stealth Rock support can really help out Azu right here. What do I think I want to add? We could add a lead drill. I don't really think I want to make this in Hyper Offense team though. It just doesn't seem right. Especially since I have a Wall Breaker and just not a setup sweeper, so. What I could do is add Spedef Jirachi with Healing Wish support. That sounds great. Healing Wish support into Azumarill. You can switch it into Ash Grant a few times, and even if it gets worn down, you can Healing Wish it back. I like that idea. Uh, this also provides me a psychic terrain switch in, like, this thing can easily counter Tapu Lele. So let's just put in the spread first. I believe it's 104. And, uh, 152 in speed. I'll get that double checked, of course, but I believe that's right. It may be 152 speed F 104 speed. Uh, let's, let's do this for now, and, uh, if it's the other thing, then I'll get it double checked, of course. And, uh, let's just go ahead and put a nice minus special attack. Stealth Rocks, Iron Head, U-Turn Healing, which is the set that I run. It's the set that everyone should run, unless you're running the uh, non-Stealth Rocks variant with Wish Protect. Uh, what's the last move that I'm missing? Stealth Rocks, Iron Head, U-Turn. And uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, leftovers on here, of course. I literally just had all four moves, and now I'm forgetting one. Stealth Rocks, Iron Head, U-Turn, and Healing Wish, of course. So let's go ahead and put that on there, and I really like this idea. Healing Wish support into the Azumarill can definitely be very good. Now, things that the team is weak to so far... We have an Ash Grand switch in, we have a good fairy resist right here with Jirachi. Can help out with Tapu Lele, Megazam, Magirna, all of that stuff. Obviously, Megazam is a psychic, but what do I want to continue adding right here? We need hazard control, of course, like T-Spikes are really annoying to this team. Uh, hazard control, what do I want to add for that? We could add Coco. I mean, Defog Coco is kind of a, like a not a great set, but it could definitely work, like a Defog Pivot Coco. I like the idea. Defog Pivot Coco could definitely do the work. Uh, what Wall Breaker do I want to add, though? Because we already have the Psychic Terrain checked. We have the 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 wall like the bulky stuff checked. But I feel like another Wall Breaker could be good here. What can break through like Tangrowth, the Mungus kind of thing? Uh, actually, I think I know what can do it. It's a good flying type. Maybe Torn or Mega Pinsir would be my best options. We do need a Mega. Mega Pinsir would add me quite a bit of Stealth Rocks weakness, but. I feel like it might be worth it. We're going to add hazard control after that anyway, for sure. So let's go right here with the Mega Pinsir, and if it doesn't work out, we can change it later. But I like the idea of Mega Pinsir right here. Let's just go ahead and run the uh, max speed, max attack set, of course. And then go with uh, Swords Dance and three attacks. Swords Dance, return. 
quick, quick attack, and I think we're gonna go with uh, probably Earthquake here. Yeah, Earthquake's just a good mid ground. You can definitely brawl break stuff like Tyrant Tar, just like close combat. So I like that, and it can break through Tran, which I mean, we don't really struggle with Tran besides Shirachi, but I, I really think Earthquake's the better option. And uh, that's definitely very good. Now, uh, Rotom Wash is looking like a problem because we have two like Pokemon that don't really appreciate it Mega Pinsir and Azumarill. Hoopa can try to wall break it, but it might just get burnt in the process. I feel like Coco can easily handle a Rotom Wash, like a Roost Magnet Coco with a Defog. I feel like that's just too good here. Let's just do that. Let's go with Magnet Coco, run Defog, T Bolt. And then I feel like I just don't go Roost, maybe? Do I go Roost U turn or do I go HP Ice U turn? I feel like I go HP Ice U turn. I don't see a reason not to run HP Ice. I mean, Roost could be good too. I mean, we have good Torn switching, so I'm not really too worried about that. Let's just go right here with uh, max special attack, max speed, and then we'll go we'll go minus attack even though we're in a U-turn. And uh, that looks fine. So we have hazard control. Not very reliable hazard control though, but we still have a slot. Let's see what we can make of it, of course. One final slot right here. And I think I can go with maybe... Uh, maybe Typo Fini. Could be good. I mean, dual water tanks doesn't really matter. So we can we can definitely go Typo Fini if I want to do that. Uh, alternatively, I go Lando right here and just complete my Volt turn. Also, we I mean, we have Stealth Rocks and Defog on the board. Maybe we don't need Lando. We could run a different Lando set, like Smackdown EQ sort of thing. Do I see Celesteela as being a problem? No, we have Coco Hoopa to break that. So I think that's fine. I just realized we have, like, the MVGBA draft on this team. Hoopa, Mega Pinsir, Tapu Coco. But what do I want this last mod to be? Hmm, very, very interesting right here. What I, What do I want? I mean, we already have good Volt Turn, we have a Sweeper, we have a Breaker. I pretty much have everything that I want, but I need to add something that, which provides a lot of value. What do I think and pivot into stuff? Any Pokemon that we're particularly weak to? We're very weak to Opposing Coco, now that I look at it. Like, Opposing Coco and Zeraora. I feel like maybe some sort of bulky grass could help out with that. Maybe Bulu here. What Bulu set would I run, though? Probably AV. I feel like we'll go a Assault Vest type of Bulu right here, and if I don't see it working out... We'll change it to like AV Tangrowth or Lando T or whatever, but I believe the standard is just max HP, max spit F. Uh, I, I'm going to put max attack on here for now and max HP. I know that's not even close to the spread, but I'll get a double check too. I just don't memorize EV spreads unless they're like 252, 252, 4. Never necessarily saw the worth in that, but we'll go right here with the uh, Nature's Madness. Woodhammer, Horn Leech, and Super Power. And uh, that looks good for now. Did I put the 4 in anything? I did not. So let's put the 4 in Spit F, and that looks good. We have dual terrain, just to reverse psychic terrain if we need that. And uh, we have all our EVs invested, so uh, abilities are good, yep. So that's going to be the team for now, of course, and I'll be right back with our first game. Okay, we got our first game right here. Unfortunately, this guy's a superior, so I need a bit of damage on that before my um, before my Azu can come through. If I can get one full Azu sweep this live, I'll be very happy, but... I think I have a really good lead on my part right here it would probably be Hoopa. I feel like he's going to lead Lander's T though. I do have Hyper Cutter on Mega Pinsir, so I feel like that's going to be a good bet. As uh, He's going to go ahead and lead off with uh, the Lando just as I expected. Uh, we can find out whether he's Scarf if he is. He'll probably U-turn to either Celesteela or Mawile, but that's totally fine with me. As he is Choice Scarf, so I'm assuming we'll get a bit of damage on Celesteela here. Which would be uh, very fine with me right now, as uh, Celesteela does come out. This will do like 20%. Yeah, 25 so uh, right here he may throw off a leech sheet, not quite sure. Uh, I don't really have great responses. I can get my rocks up here though, which I think could be uh, very good for me. As he just goes for the flamethrower and uh, does quite a bit. We get lefties though, and I'm not too stressed out about this. I don't need Jirachi in particular, I'll just get up the rocks here. He may go right back to Lando, to defog. As he just goes right for the leech sheet, so this is less than ideal, but uh, it's what we have to deal with. I'll just U-turn out here into probably my Hoopa, actually. He actually goes superior and gives me the U-turn damage on it, so uh, very confused about that decision, but hey, we take those, and what I can do right here is just go out into my... What can revenge this, like, well? I guess Pinsir can come out here. And uh, what I think I want to do is just throw off a... I think I'm going to double to Hoopa here, expecting Celesteela, yeah. As uh, we do get in Hoopa, and uh, we are banded Hoopa, so we'll, we'll be hitting something very hard right now. Which, I'll just go for the Hyperspace Fury right here, as it does so much damage. He just goes for the Heavy Slam, which, uh, because we're minus one, it does quite a bit. 
but like I said, he has to go like a mobile here and get the Intimidate off. And we'll put that thing in range of Belly Dramazu as well. So he does go mobile and uh, he has Intimidate. This will still do like 30%. Oh, yeah, a lot more than that because he's not mega yet. Uh, does a Mega Mobile get Pursuit? I mean, I don't think he'll have it, but I may want to stay in uh, Mobile. I, I, I don't think I'll stay in anyway. It doesn't get Pursuit, okay. So uh, my switch in right here would probably have to be my Jirachi, if I had to guess. I, I'm kind of uh, worried about Scarf Superior being a little bit of an issue. Did it reveal an item? Uh, Superior. When that thing came in, it just came in on the U-turn and then switched out basically, so I really have no intel on that thing. What I can do here though is go out into my... Well, as long as I keep Mega Pinsir alive, I'll be fine against that. Let's go Jirachi here. I don't think Jirachi is very good. Now, how do I? How am I handling this uh, Zygarde? Probably with Bulu. Tries to Sucker Punch me, which uh, makes quite a bit of sense right here. What I can do is just go right for the... I don't want to take a Sucker Punch with this. I'm just going to go for Iron Head, as he's going to not Sucker Punch for whatever reason, and go for Knock Off. Unfortunately, he broke through. I got the play right, but unfortunately, it didn't really work out for us right there. As uh, what I can do now is... Can I Belly Drum on this? Probably not. <laughs> like, we're going to be faster, and then he's going to knock me out with Play Rough, right? I can go out into it in Aqua Jet. That's not a bad idea. Okay, let's just go out into this thing and uh, just pick him off with Aqua Jet right now. As uh, we are able to knock that out, so that's good for me. Now Superior can definitely come back out right here. And uh, that could definitely be an issue. I still need to keep my Bulu for the Zygarde. So yeah, out comes the Superior. Uh, do I just forego the Belly Drum sweep and just go for Player Off here? I feel like I'll live and then I can see Belly Drum up and maybe just win with this Mon. Uh, let's try it here. Because, uh, no, he just straight up o code Wow, that thing is strong. As it does reveal to be... I mean, it, it, I thought it because it was base 75 special attack, it wouldn't do that much, but... Uh, I have to quick attack here. I'm really surprised that killed. As, uh, we pick that Mon off right there, so that's good for us. Uh, I'm genuinely surprised he knocked out Azu in one. But, I guess, I guess we know now. Don't stand on the Serp. Um, out comes Lando. This has to have, like, Stone Edge to knock me out, which it very well could, for sure. Uh, I don't want to lose to Chansey late game, but what I can do here is just go attack Bulu. What? He might U-turn to Celesteela. I could see that. Goes for Toxic, which, and misses, unfortunately, for him. Uh, that's definitely kind of unfortunate, but what I can do here is just... Well, we know he Scarfed into Toxic, so... What I can do is just go back to Pinsir, probably. Am I okay with Pinsir getting toxic I mean, he can just go back to Celesteela after. Let's just go for the Horn Leech here, or Nature's Madness is fine. As uh, we do about half to that thing, well, exactly half. As what I can do now is just go right here for the... Probably Horn Leech is fine, maybe Superpower. We know he's switching out. I'm gonna make another double to my Hoopa right here. Expecting this uh, Celesteela to come out. As uh, we do get that right once again. As what I can do now is just go right here for the Hyperspace Fury. And I'll be able to knock that thing out, which is uh, good for me. It's looking like Scarf Pinsir has a really good matchup now, by just Swords Dancing up and clicking a return and whatnot. And uh, if he goes to Zagarde here, he has to be at Jolly and max speed to, to outspeed me anyway. As he actually opts to go out into Lando T, so what I can do here is just go out into my, my Tapu Bulu. As he goes for the U-turn, which uh, makes a lot of sense. Nothing really come wants to come out here though. Like, sure you can go Chansey, but I just Horn Leech. And uh, I'm getting like all my health back in this process. As he can sure, sure he can stall me out, I guess. Let's go Hoopa now and pick up another kill. As I feel like that's the best play right now. As he goes right for that. Uh, just Hyperspace Fury here. And I uh, blow this thing away. Bring it down really low. As uh, he will not be able to stall me out right now. I don't think so. I mean, he could, but like... He just knocks me out, yeah. So that's what he had to do right there. As uh, maybe I can go Pinsir now, SD up, and try to win now. I feel like that's not smart. I need to keep Tapu Bulu at the same amount of health. Let's just go Tapu Coco here. And uh, just click T-Bolt, I think. Or U-Turn. Does HPS do 8 to Chansey? Chansey, OU defensive against Coco. Uh, just get, let's put Specs on here, but just get rid of the Specs. Uh, never mind, I have to click T-Bolt. Or U-Turn, let's just click U-Turn. As uh, we're able to knock that Pokemon out. And uh, what I can do here is just bring out my... Just bring out my Tapu Bulu. It'll allow nothing to set up, basically, is the big thing. Because if Zagard comes out, then we can just Horn Leech it. Yeah, he's forced to bring out Lander's T here, as I can just Horn Leech. 
And if he U-turns, then it's not even that big of a deal. He just goes for EQ, which I don't think it'll be enough. Between HP Ice and Quick Attack and all that, I feel like this Zygarde is not going to be able to win. Maybe it will. I mean, maybe I'm underestimating the, this Mon. I can just go here for Nature's Madness. As he Dragon Dances up, uh, this Grassy Train is working against me right now, like a lot. I feel like I'm just going to Wood Hammer. Or I Horn Leech into Wood Hammer. What was that? Tectonic Rage. <laughs> I found the one Tectonic Rage set. Uh, I do have Defog, so I can go out into this and Defog for my Pinsir, maybe. So let's do that right here, as I'm sure he'll just knock me out. I had to try it, as uh, what I can do here is go Pinsir. And unfortunately, it looks like after all that, we're still going to lose. I swear Zygarde is like so easy to use, but uh, yeah, it's just one of those Pokemon where you just have to get in the right position, and it's able to set up. I really expected Azu to live that Leaf Storm, but I guess it didn't, and let's calc that actually. Was it a roll? Because it was Leftover Superior, I'm pretty sure, was what we saw. So let's say he was timid, max special attack. Against Azumarill? Let's just say we're offensive Azu with no HP investment. Oh, never mind. Least Storm always kills. Maybe I should have calc that, but it is what it is. Very close game. And I'll be right back with another one. Okay, we got another game right here. Once again, this is kind of tough for Azu because he has the Kingdra plus Cortana. You would think Rain would be a good matchup, but unfortunately, this is just one of those situations where it isn't. I'm going to lead off here with my Hoopa. As he's going to obviously lead off with the Pelipper. I'm pretty sure Hyperspace Fury can blow this away. Is it really worth risking? I feel like it is. Bandit Hyperspace Fury should do a lot, and... Okay, let's calc it. Just against standard Pelipper, because I'll take a defense drop and then a U-turn, and then I'll just go down, so... That would be, like, really dumb. So, I believe this is defensive Pelipper. Against Hoopa Unbound. Choice Band Hyperspace Fury is not even killing, so I gotta switch out here. Or I just take the damage. As he's gonna switch to Magirna, so I'm glad I did that. And uh, what I can do here is just switch out into my Jirachi. I know it's, this is Assault Vest Magirna. It runs Iron Head and three other attacks. Just goes for the Volt Switch. Out into Mega Swampert, of course. As uh, what I'll do here is just go out into my Tapu Bulu. Is, I think, fine. As we get up terrain, let's see if you Ice Punch predicting. He didn't. Okay, good for me. As this gives me a pretty free Horn Leech right here. I'm just going to superpower though, expecting Cortana to come in, because I need damage on Cortana for my uh, Azumarill if I do want to sweep with that. So we're going to get a lot of damage on the Cortana right here, which is uh, very good for me. As uh, what I'll do here is just go... I don't want to go Jirachi. I could go Jirachi, it doesn't really do much for me. Goes right for knockoff and blows me away. So he, made a, he predicted something there. Not quite sure what, but what I get to do here is bring out... Well, I know this is a banned Cortana, so... If I bring in uh, Azu here, I could probably do quite a bit of work against a lot of his team. I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to go for... Do I Z Belly Drum here? I could just Belly Drum here, and then but then I have no use for my Z moves, so... Let's just go for Aqua Jet. He's going to switch. We know he's going to switch, so let's just go for Play Rough. Because even if he knocks, it's not going to do a ton, because I have no item. So I feel like Play Rough is just my best play right here. As he's going to go Magirna, so this is fine. We'll do uh, quite a bit of damage to that thing. As we know he's going to Volt out here. Uh, what I can do is just knock off this Vest real quick, as he, uh, he'll probably Volt out. Yeah, and uh, I can still Belly Drum with my Z move, which is pretty good. I would have to do it against something that I outspeed though, which I'm pretty sure is only this Mon. Uh, sucks to take a bit of damage on Azu, but it's nothing that we can't handle, I think. And uh, Mega Pinsir is still alive, which is like my one of my best ways of winning this. So that's why I'm pretty happy about that. And we got a ton of damage on Cortana, so that's in quick attack range now. It's looking pretty good for Mega Pinsir. If I can get rid of the Rain Setter, though, that would be really good for me. Curious as to what he's going to bring out, though, because there's only two Rain turns left. Uh, brings out Kingdra. So this is gonna go for HP Grass. So let's go to Apabulu here. Or I'll just go for Surf. I probably took that attack, so kind of confused, but uh, what I can do now is just go for the Horn Leech. As he sacks off the Magirna, and just to get in Cortana right here, which makes a lot of sense. It pretty much gets kills with Smart Strike now. Uh, what's expendable? I feel like Hoopa doesn't do anything. Yeah, let's just go Hoopa. It doesn't actually do anything here. Uh, just knocks me out with Smart Strike. That's totally cool. As what I'll do is bring out my Tapu Coco now. 
And just go right here for the U-turn, I think. Or a T-Bolt. He's just going to switch to Swamp Bird, so that's fine with me. I get to click another attack now. And we're wearing this thing down, so let's go out into a Tapu Bulu here. Uh, I'm just not sending in Mega Pinsir, because I know that's my win con here. Let's just go for Wood Hammer. Nah, Wood Hammer's going to give me too much recoil. Let's just go for Horn Leech. I feel like we'll knock out uh, Kratana and under terrain. I mean, it's quad resisted. Let's go for Wood Hammer. It's either that or I just superpower, but I feel like Wood Hammer is always the play here. Do you take a recoil if you break a disguise? Not quite sure, but I feel like if I, I can't risk uh, Kratana coming in and living a Horn Leech because then I sack another Mon for no reason. So let's just go for Wood Hammer. As yeah, he does try to get in Kratana. This should kill, right? Good. I was really nervous about that, as let's see what he brings in now. Probably Pelipper. I have this team. He goes into Mimikyu right here, so uh, what I can do is just Horn Leech. And then probably switch out on the Z-move is what I have to do. Let's sack off my... Probably Coco here. Yeah, Coco wasn't very good anymore. On the never-ending nightmare. And now what I can do is get in my uh, Mega Pinsir here. Uh, Mega Evolve and just go right for the return. He's going to obviously do a Shadow Sneak or whatever. And then I'll, I'll knock out Pelipper on when that comes in too, I think. How much damage is on Mega Swampert? Not a ton. But as long as I get rid of uh, Mimikyu right here, which I feel like I can do. He's going to switch out into Pelipper, yeah. He, because he knows he needs it to pressure my Tapu Bulu. So we're able to return, as what I can do is just return once again here. Knock out the Pelipper. Now he's forced out into probably Kingdra here. Yeah, I feel like he goes Kingdra. And it might be a 50-50, but my Tapu Bulu is still at full though, so that's kind of a problem for him. Let's go Let's go Tapu Bulu. As he just goes right for the Surf, I can just Horn Leech now. And I feel like we have this secured. Because this should go down, right? Yeah, it just straight up dies. As he needs to freeze me, basically. As he doesn't get the freeze right there, and it looks like we're good to go. Because what I can do here is just... Just horn... Well, actually, I can just wood hammer him into range of the quick attack right here. Uh, unfortunately, it horn leeched for me. Which could be a problem. Not really, though. I can just horn leech again. As Tapu Bulu will be able to clutch out the rain matchup right here. So, unfortunately, Azu didn't get to do a ton, but it was against a Kingdra Kurtana core. But I'll drop a GG in the chat right there. A very nice win. And I'll be right back with another game. Okay, we got another game right here. This guy's running ABR Mawile Volt turn. I'm pretty familiar with this team. I've laddered with it quite a lot. As what I can do here is just lead off with my... I mean, Coco is really good here. Just clicking T-Bolt U-turn kind of thing. Gets in Hoopa. Pinsir is really good too. I mean, obviously Erodum is just a problem. I feel like he's going to lead maybe Tangeroth. Let's go here with uh, Coco. Yeah, he's going to lead off with the Mawile. So I don't want to stay in here because like... Coco does an Oko Mawile. Yeah, he's going to go out into Tangrowth, so this is fine. I got a U-turn out. Uh, that did nothing. It might be defensive. Let's go here into Pinster now. And just Mega Evolve and click Return. Because I want to get all this damage on Rotom. Like, Rotom doesn't even appreciate uh, Pinster hits. Yeah, like 27 is good damage. He has leftovers, unfortunately. I was hoping he would be Barry. Uh, let's just go Jirachi here. On the Volt Switch. He doesn't get a Terrain Boost, I don't think, because he's levitating. Gets in Tran. He's just going to get up rocks. So what am I doing about that? Getting up my own? I mean, my own rocks don't really do much, so I feel like I should switch for momentum instead. Tran is an annoying pawn for this team. I mean, Hoopa, Hoopa can break him. I already see that Hoopa can do so much work. Let's get up the rocks. As I know he's going to do the same, which is... Uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, actually, here. Azu can maybe win. Let's U-turn out and bring in my my Hoopa on the Inferno Overdrive, which we are able to take because of Hoopa's amazing spadef stat. As what I can do here is just click the Hyperspace Fury. And I feel like Belly Drum Azu has actually like a good shot at winning this game. Okay, so he goes out into the Mega Mawile, which will uh, definitely be able to take my attacks. I'm switching this out. I feel like if I defog later, this could definitely be... A good bring in against stuff like uh, Rotom and Tangrowth. So let me switch out here and just bring in the Jirachi again as he tries to sucker punch me. 
what I can do now is just go right for the, just go for the iron head, or just just U turn is fine. Slow U turn out. Get in my cocoa, and uh, try to defog for my hoopa. Uh, never mind, he didn't click the the sucker punch. Okay, I'm gonna let hoopa go down. As he goes right for the thunder punch. Hmm. Okay, let's get in this and just uh, defog on this incoming Tangoth. Okay, I'm gonna try to win with Azu this time. I feel like that's what I have to do here, actually. So he's gonna obviously do that. He's gonna probably try to knock off here. Uh, so I'll just go out into my Mega Pinsir as he goes right for that again. And uh, what I want to do here is actually weaken this Erodim into range of Aqua Jet, so I'm going to try to bait him to stay in a couple times. As what I'll do here is just return again. Even even if it means going down to Volt Switch, I feel like that damage is good for the Azu Sweep. Uh, now if I can get up Rocks again with Jirachi, we'll be very good here. Does this? Uh, I feel like I have this team in my thing here. Oh, I'll tear in, Mega Arrow, Coco Kiram. Uh, maybe I deleted it after laddering a bit, but it's fine. Goes out into uh, Tangrowth here. So I can just get a Barox on this. Yeah, let's just get a Barox on this and then just click Iron Head as many times as we can. Uh, Barox are definitely very good here. I need to try to sweep with Azu soon. I feel like it's not going to happen though between Helmet Torn and all that. Yeah, that could definitely be an issue. So, rocks are going to go up. Now what I can do is just uh, click Iron Head a few times, wear him down. As this this man broke through. Do I U-turn here? Nah, I'm just going to Iron Head. Um, I'm trying to faint, is basically what I'm trying to do here. He knows I'm trying to go for game with the Azu, which I really think this is a game where Azu can do it. Uh, Ghost Horn, as he... Maybe this is where I set up. I need to I need to not get Hurricane confused though. If I get Hurricane confused, I think I lose. But I'm pretty sure if I get this off successfully, I may be able to win on the spot. Okay, please don't. Of course. And now I have to play with confusion hacks. And the moment I hit myself, I'm dead. And I'm pretty sure this mon just won. Like yeah, because that thing's in range of Aqua Jet. So maybe if we. If we get lucky here, then it can still happen. Goes Tangrowth. I gotta try to outspeed here and play rough as we do. Knock that out. Good. Can we break through the confusion now? Come on, snap out. Good. Do we knock him out? Nah, he barely hung on, but he's locked into that. He knows that. So I have to go for the Aqua Jet again. This thing dies on entry. And then I feel like maybe Coco can win this. I'm gonna try to outplay this stuff. Okay, let's continue doing this. Yeah, he got me there, okay. But it's fine, because what I can do is bring this thing out. And just T-bolt here. Yeah, let's just T-bolt as he goes for the Sucker Punch. I feel like we might still lose because of the Heatran. So what I need to do is U-turn out into my Tapu Bulu. Uh, am I going to be faster? He goes for Earth Power for no reason. So what I get to do now is Super Power this thing. Into range of Coco. And now I've run with Coco. <laughs> so it wasn't a full um, Azu sweep, but it definitely worked out. Let's go here for the Horn Leech, as he didn't even knock me out. And uh, we're able to win that game somehow. Very cool with the Azu just doing work, not hitting itself in Confusion once. That guy hit a Hurricane and confused me though, so... I'm glad I broke through with all those times, and uh, Azu definitely did some work right there, and I'll be right back with another game. Okay, we got another game right here, very similar build to last time with the whole Grand Tran Torn Mawile thing. Just a little bit different with the Magirna Bulu right here, but Hoopa definitely does a ton of work. Azu can maybe sweep if we can get rid of these type of Bulu, but what I think I'll do here is just lead off with my Coco, as he's going to lead off with the Bulu, so if he gets the lead matchup right, unfortunately for me. I'll just obviously U-turn. Is it really worth risking him being Scarf? Uh, it's probably not. I'm just gonna go here into Pinsir hard. As he goes for a Leech Eed, very interesting. Not quite sure what to think about that. 
I'm just gonna make level and go for a return though. I mean, Pinsir's really good though. Watch me be Koba Berry with like a Rock Tomb and I die. Like, Pinsir's really good here, but I feel like I can just return. As he's gonna be getting like all his health back between the lefty's grassy terrain and the, the thing, but it's fine. As uh, what I'll do here is just switch to Jirachi. It looks like that was uh, left uh, assault vest damage right there. It's, yeah, he's gonna volt out probably into Tran to get up rocks. Oh, I need to get him my pincer safely later. I, mean, I feel like I'm just gonna preserve it till end game. Maybe defog with Coco. But let's just get up rocks alongside him, and then just go right here for the U-turn and uh, bring in Hoopa. As unfortunately for him, he misses a Magma Storm, but like it's Magma Storm. So if he wants to switch into a Hyperspace Fairy, he's going Magirna or Bulu. But I'm cooking it anyway. Yeah, because uh, I feel like I might be able to 2 it KO. Nah, just short. Goes right for the Volt Switch. But damage on Magirna is not really bad. Like, it weakens it for Coco, which could be very good. Like, after I get a bit of damage on Bulu now, Coco just has a ton of fun. So maybe this- I'm assuming this guy will try to hit a Magma Storm again. Let's just do what we did. As he goes for the Z-move and knocks me out that time, so unfortunate. Let's go here into... Let's go Azu here. Now how fast does this Bulu run? I feel like it, the play is not to Aqua- I mean, not to Belly Drum, it's just to click Knock Off here. Yeah, I feel like Knock Off is fine. Yeah, this is gonna stay in. I mean, okay, now now I'll just Aqua Jet, I guess. And just get rid of that thing, which is good. Because that's going to help out my Coco a lot, and I feel like I'm trying to go for a game with Coco here. Now, uh, granted, his Gren is a giant problem now that this thing has gotten a little too weak. Let's go here into Jirachi. As he just goes right for the player off. I, think, I feel like I'm just healing with Shadow here. Is uh, probably fine. Or I just Iron Head for some damage. Put that thing in range of Coco, and uh, now what I can do is get in Coco and just go right for the. Let's go right for the U-turn, expecting his type of Bulu, yeah. As uh, we will be able to pick up another kill with Pincer here, which could be very good for me right now. So I'll just go for the return. Hopefully he's not like Helmet Torn and live this because that could be very bad. So we'll get rid of Magirna at the very least. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is AV. It shouldn't be Scarf. Yeah, so we, get, we knock that thing out, which is good. As, uh, of course, Gran's gonna come out here. I just always go- I always have to go EV Bulu here. As he goes right for the Shuriken, that's totally fine. I'm gonna double to Coco here, expecting Torn, good. And, uh, Defog for my Pinsir, I think. Goes, uh, Bulu, of course. So Defogging for Pinsir is really good for me. Fortunate that my earthquakes weakened under this terrain. Okay, let's U-turn out. Bring in probably, probably my own Bulu here. As he goes right for the toxic, so that's not that bad. That's actually not that bad. I was expecting a lot worse. Uh, this is tough. What do I not need? I feel like Azu can do it now. Now that he's playing a little bit recklessly with this Bulu, let's just try to weaken it. I feel. Because like, if Grand locks itself into a water move, that gives me setup with my own. Uh, he gets a crit, which is going to be terrible. But uh, at least we get a ton of damage off on that. And it's looking like uh, Coco should be able to maybe sweep this game. So here I can just go for the return. Goes right. He really risked me SDing. Okay, let's go for a return again. Will this Oko? Uh, not quite. He is helmet torn. Uh, do I switch out then? Now I'm going to quick attack and knock it out. Then go... He's going to go back to Bulu here and just to win. Now he goes Mawile. Which I can't outspeed. I may outspeed it. But I'm not killing it with anything. I have to go off a miss here and go for the Z-Belly Drum. As uh, he didn't miss unfortunately. Uh, if this Bulu was just a tiny bit weaker right now, I would win with this Mon, but... Uh, unfortunately, it's not, and it looks like we're going to be losing this game right now, which definitely sucks. Like, I th think this was a pretty easy win had I just played smarter with Pinsir. Uh, okay, hold up. Uh, if I crit or parried one of those, I could have won now, but 
Actually, never mind. He had Protect anyway. But surprised he would risk the one mod that just kills me anyway, but... Uh, yeah, he's able to win right there. I'll drop a GG in the chat. Kind of disappointing loss, considering, I think, had I just played my pincer smarter, I probably would have won, but it's alright. They'll be right back with another game. Okay, we got another game right here. Gonna be up against uh, more rain right here. I think as long as I play Tapu Bulu smart, uh, we might be fine right now. Um, I think I should probably lead off here with my... Well, he'll, he'll probably lead off with Pelipper, and maybe Hoopa can lead well against that thing. I just need to keep my Tapu Bulu at a good amount of health here. So yeah, let's lead off with Hoopa. Uh, alternatively, okay, he's gonna lead off with Ferrothorn, which is totally fine with me. What I can do right here is just go right for a nice banded fire punch to start it off. Uh, if he goes out into the Pelipper, it'll be unfortunate, but uh, we just blow back the Ferrothorn right there. Which is uh, totally fine with me right now. Brings out his Tornadus. I don't really need my Jirachi for anything, so I'll just go out into that right here. Uh, he just goes right for the U-turn, which is totally fine with me. I'm curious as to what this man if he wants to do. Uh, I'll go with Zoomeril here. As he just goes for the Dark Pulse, does a ton of damage. As what I can do here is just play rough. He doesn't actually have good play rough switch-ins at all. As he goes out into the Tornadus, and we do a ton of damage right there. As uh, based on that, 90 versus 40, it looks like Agu Aqua Jet will kill right here. So I'll just go for the Aqua Jet right here. And then maybe I can Healing Wishes back later, as we knock that thing out too, which is uh, really cool. So, uh, nice rain matchup right here. I'm glad we're doing pretty well. He only has his rain core left, which is pretty good for me. As what I can do here is just... I can try to Z-Belly Drum here. He's gonna, he's probably going to be faster than me if I had to guess. Maybe not. Let's try to Z-Belly Drum. As he goes right for the Hurricane, which is not a big deal at all. Uh, now I can just go right here for the player off. As unfortunately we miss. I'm not sure if I would have knocked him out with a knockoff, but... It's totally alright. What I can do now is just go... Just go Hoopa here. And go right for the Hyper Space Fury. As he may be knocking me out with a U-turn. Uh, had I hit that, we probably just won on the spot with Azu. Which is uh, pretty unfortunate to, to think about the fact that that could have happened, but like it is what it is. But uh, like after the rain goes down here, I feel like we'll be fine. He may go uh, Greninja here. Dang, that sucks though. Like had, had I hit that, we would have been totally fine. As he does just go right for the U-turn, which is totally cool. And uh, yeah, this thing should be gone, and then the rain would have limited turns, but like... Nothing I can do about that, of course. Now, I have to compare my Azu and my Tapu Bulu speed right here, because... How fast is Bulu? 186. Okay, I'm gonna go Bulu here, and... Just go right for the Horn Leech, basically. And hope he doesn't Ice Punch Freeze me. Come on, don't Ice Punch Freeze me, please. Good, and we're gonna get all this health back. Which is uh, beautiful right now. So now what I can do is just Horn Leech again. Uh, he's gonna try to Tail Glow. I'm pretty sure this just dies, right? Uh, we get a crit back. I mean, it kind of makes up for the miss, but... Uh, yeah, it really sucks on his part. I'll just go for the Horn Leech once again here. Uh, he's going to try to Dark Pulse flinch me down. So it was kind of hacks for hacks, but we're able to uh, pick up the win right there. And these grass types are just so good against Rain, like Tapu Bulu and Ferrothorn. But we're going to go ahead and end off the session there. Tried to get the Azu Sweep once again, but unfortunately, Azu could not hit its player off. But it's totally cool, and uh, yeah, very happy with the result right there. I believe we went 3-2, and two, but really great games. And the team will be down below in the description in case you guys do want to try it out alongside me, of course. If you are new, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, just so that you don't miss out on any competitive Pokemon content, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.